I can't put my finger on it. But there's something different about this person. That's it. She's had a haircut. Hello, I have a question for you that I want you to answer down in the comments. Do you trust your neighbor? This is what the game is all about. That's not my neighbor. Basically think of it as papers please, but with horror. Ah! If you get anything wrong, you die. I mean, how can you even trust me, the person giving you this video? Am I even wearing pants? N don't, eyes up here. But what I can tell you about myself is that I'm a bit of a magician. If you look just below the video here, I'm gonna say some magic words and things are gonna light up. Subscribe to the video, like the video, hit the bell notification. Did anything light up? I told you it would. And if you wanna see more gameplay of this, let me know as well. Bye-bye, enjoy the gameplay. Bye, bye, bye-bye. Shall we play in the English? This is by Ignacio Alvarado. Oh my God, whoa, whoa, whoa. February 1955, what the f is this? Arcade mode. There's different modes. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately. What? Doppelganger detection department. If you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. Classic. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. Oh no. Well, I'd noticed that. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. How do I know which ones are my neighbors and which ones are not? You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. So this is papers, please. Your job is really important. Thank you. So make sure you do it right. Okay. It's my first day. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Let's give it up for freaking, uh, was it Henry? Be like Henry, but better. God, who are you? Welcome and congratulations on your new job. Thank you. As you can see on the introductory film, your job is to verify the entry of the neighbors of your building. Yes. Each day there'll be a list of individuals who will request entry to the building. I see, God. It is possible that there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. Also, you must verify that the ID and the entry request are correct and have the respective Triple D logo. Don't forget to also check the expiration on the IDs. Oh my God. Remember, it's February 1955. I wish you good luck. I'm nervous. This is my, I gotta, I gotta look good for the freaking. Okay. Hello there. I mean, hello. Hello. Um, all right. What do we, what do we got here? Celine Sverishet. It's got the triple D. It's got 031980 and then a big ass number. Name Celine Sverishet. Apartment 0104. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a model. A model idiot. Got him. So she lives with her twin. 9514. 9514. Good. Uh, and it said 1980 and it's February. Okay, I'm guessing that's the expiration, right? ID seems correct, yeah? Tick. Appearance. Small pointed nose, slim long neck, she has a twin. Small pointed nose, slim long neck, she has a twin. Okay, so I'm gonna say her appearance is good. Entry request, is it on today's list? Yes. I think we give her the, 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 the thumbs up. And then grant entry. Did I do good? Oh, oh, oh God, Jesus. What? I didn't know how that's how it worked. This is my first time playing it. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Listen, I'm sure that that person who went through was not a doppelganger. This person's gonna be a doppelganger, trust me. Mia Stone, that sounds so fing made up, am I right? It's got the triple D, it's got the 08 1978 5115 Mia Stone. What floor are you on? Three. Long hair, small round nose, she has freckles, oval face. Okay, everybody look at this photo and then look at this person. Eyebrows are bad. Yeah, the eyebrows look off, right? Eyebrows are off. Everybody stay cool, calm and collected. Didn't I tell you this was gonna be a doppelganger? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you this was gonna be a doppelganger? She's got weird eyebrows. So we're gonna just slowly, slowly 
reach for this. Emergency, emergency, she's crazy, dude. You've contacted the, the, the triple T. A group of agents have been sent to your building. Let's go. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I nailed this, guys. Cleaning protocol completed. I did it. You can continue your job. See? Nailed it. Nailed it. Um. Just check the list to see if you're... Okay. Maybe possible. Okay. It was just going to have to... Um... Yeah. Sorry about that, my guy. Um, don't know who you are. Get him the f*** out of here. I can notice small similarities. Clean protocol. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sure that person who slipped through the other time wasn't a doppelganger. I'm sure of it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. Okay. It's this guy, but he's wearing a hat. He's wearing a... It's Alf Capuchin from 0304. All right, Alf Capuchin. Lawyer. Big nose. Prominent moustache. Uses a monocle. Wears a hat. Round face. Yeah, that kind of looks like Al Pachukin to me. I'm a resident of the building and come from my job as a lawyer. He's got a bow tie. I think we let him in, right? I trust Alfie. Everything is matching up, my friend. Everything is matching up. We're going to let you in, Alf. Alfster. There we go. That is done. Let him in. Hello. Oh, my God. What's up, dude? What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? My guy, it's what you want it to be, my dude. That's correct. I know, my guy. What is this? What is the scientific name of the Australian animal that drastically changes its appearance when removed from its natural habitat? An echidna goes up into a ball. I'm not typing in reaps. Platypus, quokka, kangaroo. Um, oh yeah, it, it's gotta be octopus. <laughs> it's a blobfish, a blobfish. Blobfish, AKA reaps. I do not like a blobfish, guys. Just give me, give me a moment. Chat, this is, there is a big dissimilar. Look at, look at that and look at me. Okay, huge difference, huge. Blob. Fish, aka Twitch cat, chat. That's incorrect. Who said blobfish? Oh, this is the neighbor. There's no expiry date. Chat, I'm getting really good at this. Okay, ID wrong. Appearance right. Intro request wrong. Is on today's list? No. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. Um, there's no expiry date. I had to leave due to an emergency at work. Sure you did. Sure you did. Call her and see if she's home. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call the apartment. Okay, so what's her number? How do I check her number? 6996. 6996. Eleanor Schwertz is speaking. My sister and I are in the apartment right now. We're not expecting visitors. My sister and I. Okay. You just got got. You just got got. I just need to see one more piece of. Get out of here, Ben. From my goddamn store. What if the doppelganger is in the apartment? I mean, I can only go with what I, I can go on, Val. You know? I think I've nailed this so far. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> your ID, sir? Where is your ID? Albertsky Peachman. He's a shoemaker. Mustache, prominent chin, big nose, big eyebrows, long face. Give me a moment, sir. Two, six, six, eight. Just a moment. Robertsky Peachman speaking. My brother is not at home. I say we let him in. I think he's fine. Right? Ticks. 
complete the checklist. Everything's in order. I really hope that was good. Chat, did I do the right thing? Right, hello, sir. Arnold Schmidt. Big eyebrows, prominent mustache, wears a hat, round face, short hair. Okay, then. I think he's good to let in. Good afternoon. That looks like a human version of Squidward. You know what I mean? Roman Stinstinski. My apartment is one on the first floor. It better be. No, it's not. No, it is not. This man is a liar and a cheat. I had two open. Oh, disregard. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Shut up. He's not wearing a hat. His tie matches his nose. <laughs> Should I? I'm gonna call the first floor. I think that's the smart thing to do, right? Um, one one five two. No one's home. I'm going to mark down. ID's fine. Appearance is not fine. Entry request is fine. Is it on today's list? Yes. See if you can explain the hat's absence. I mean, I'm, I'm stumped. Like, it looks exactly like him. Everything about him is fine. His entry request, good. Right? ID, good. The only thing that doesn't match up is that when I go... Where's a hat? It does look like a villager from Minecraft. Yeah, maybe a poll would be good here. This is, this is my job on the line. You are dictating my job right now. I've got to talk to my boss. I've got my performance development review in like two weeks time. I've got to make sure that I'm f***ing on it, dude. We've got 57% saying kick him the f*** out, dude, because he's not wearing a hat. This is the biggest risk I'm ever taking in my life. <laughs> Ah! Imagine me calling the cops because he didn't wear a hat. <laughs> what, what, why are you calling us? He's not wearing a hat, Your Honor. And I was freaked out. The suspect is hatless. I repeat, hatless. He's directly under the Earth's sun. Now. I've been expecting you. You all seen that movie Face Off? This is Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. They've just moved into the apartment. Just check to see if you're on the list, friendo. Everything seems in order here, sir. Go straight through. Isaac Goss. He doesn't have his ID. His appearance seems perfect. Um, entry request seems fine. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, yeah. Emergency at work, he says. We didn't let the other guy in because of a hat. Should we not treat this person with the same respect? He could have fallen into a vat to a vat of acid or something like that. Get on in here. You're welcome. Get him the f out of here. Milkman Francis Moses. 302. Milkman. Long nose, thin chin, tight eyes, short hair, wears a hat. Okay, this is just me in normal day life. What the frick is going on? I forgot to show my ID. You forgot to show everything, Milkman. Shall we give him a call? All right, milkman, you're good to come in. Boom, 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 boom. Who's next? What? He needs some milk. Call him? Okay, hold on. Hello, Francis speaking. Hello. I'm not expecting visitors today. I, I think I just have to. Did you get him out of here? Cleaning protocol completed. Nice. But what if he's the top? I don't know. One of them is. I can't let them both into the apartment. Next, please. We should come through. Roman Stilnski with no photo. I've already deported a Roman Stilnski today. No. 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 Mm, yeah, yes. My ID, yes. I lost it. What's wrong with my eye? You've got 
seven of them. So you're missing every part of the face, which isn't the eyes. Get out of here. Clean protocol complete. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Hello there. I'm not a doppelganger. I'm a normal human with normal behavior. Just let me in to do my normal human act. It's this that's worrying me, Gloria. The fact when you say you have, that's like me walking in to stream and saying, chat, I didn't murder anyone. I didn't murder anyone. Let's continue with the game. That immediately puts a red flag on you, Gloria. I'm gonna to have to call the apartment. I'm sorry. Five, one, two, three. Gloria, don't f me on this, okay? Don't f me. Gloria speaking. My husband and I are in the apartment right now. Oh my God. We are not expecting any visitors today. F we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. If I can take to the stand. Uh... Thank you everyone for coming. The reign of terror of Gloria Schmidt is now over. We have her, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. We got him. Thank you, no further questions. Unbelievable, you know? Not today, Gloria, if that is your real name. Not Gloria. You have contacted the Triple D. <laughs> oh, oh God, I thought I didn't, I thought I opened the door, but didn't close it. Good afternoon. Am I expecting you? Maya, St the previous Maya Stone was a fraud, right? This is the real Maya Stone. Okay. I will allow entry because I am cool like that. <laughs> Correct thing to do is to deny everyone. True. What happens if I deny everyone? What? <laughs> I don't remember allowing a single doppelganger in. Everyone I allowed in. Remember the person with the melting face? Had a bad day at work. Why would I not let them in? This I'm I'm kind of hurt, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, I killed the neighbor. Yeah. But he didn't have a hat. 